Hello and welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming! Here we're looking at Street Hockey 95 on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System at Home that you play it at home system. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyhow, here we are. Here is the main screen after you hit start. We got practice jump start, which is, you know, you just jump into a game. New game, tournament, and you can turn the uh, sound off if you like. There are some interesting comments, so we'll uh, listen for those, but I can see how they could get annoying, so that's cool, you can turn them off. So I want to say Fat Point is just scoring goals, so I'm not sure what any of these other things are here. Let's try Hot Puck, because that sounds kind of interesting. Random Timer. Oh, okay, it's like Hot Potato. <laughs> that's funny. So we're going to get right into that. Oh, okay, here it shows you anyway the four controllers you can select, so I guess I could have went straight with that. Oh, Sky King. Oh, hey, Jill. She's a power child, and she slaps nasty. Dang, this guy kind of looks like a ninja, huh? Rocket shot. Buzz. Oh, all right, hey, hey, baby. Might have to go. Oh, but this guy, Barack. <laughs> a sweathead and a wackrobat. Oh man, Victor! Nowhere, man. Okay, we're gonna have to go with that guy. And Grace just says woo. I like oh, Lars. There's a lot of characters. Shred dog, puck stuffer. That guy's pretty cool. But you know what, Victor, the nowhere man. We gotta go with him. Oh, and I can pick. All right, we can pick two guys because it's a two on two. Oh, and I get to pick a goalie. So we're gonna go with this guy because he just looks like a goalie. Okay, all right, so, oh, hey, we got the pool. I like the flamingo. I think I did the pool level last time, so let's look at some of these different levels. Now the pool does look inviting and it was awesome. You could like ride up the side of the uh, pool, kind of like in, you know, pool skating. Um, so that was an interesting feature, but let's take a look at a different level. Pike sounds kind of cool. Let's go to the beach. Like I said, I'm still not familiar with the controller controls exactly. Um, as you can see there, your arrow, you want to try to manage that. One of the hardest parts about this game and games like it are trying to find your guy on the screen. Right! Uh, we, okay, so you only have so much time to get a goal, it looks like. Somehow that was worth two points. Uh, you can do cool jumps and like jump shots. I haven't quite figured that out. Obviously, you can check people. Okay, so cool. You can ride up the wall in this level as well. Shoot it! Get it in there! Oh, it exploded. Okay, so we, if we were to not score again in this hot puck mode, uh, there's six pucks left, so we'll see what happens. Now, if you're familiar with the Super Nintendo era, these graphics should look familiar to you. Uh, games like Pit Fighter uh, kind of popularized almost looks a little bit like Road Rash on Sega Genesis, if you guys remember that game. Very cool uh, racing game where you can fight. Um, so very similar to this game. Now, I do like the features on this game. There are some, you know, interesting sound effects or voice. Ah, they got it. Voice sayings, if you will. Oh, but they only got one point, that's weird. I can't figure out if there's a way to switch characters. Uh, something I meant to mention at the beginning when we were looking at the stage select screen is, is that in this era it was pre-unlock everything. So if you remember like Super Nintendo, or uh, sorry, Nintendo 64 era, uh, GameCube, a lot of those games, it was a good thing and a bad thing. A lot of them you had to 
to play more than the first level. Oh, even I think the original PlayStation had games like Tony Hawk Pro Skater comes to mind. To play more than the first level and use more than one skater, you basically had to, you know, unlock a bunch of stuff. So, which was cool at the time. It was it was like, wow, unlockables, you know, but now going back and, and playing some of those games and, and kind of just trying to test them out and be like, oh, okay, uh, I want to try anything other than the first level on this game to see if I like it. You can't. You can't do it without a hefty time investment. So um, that was kind of what I was going to say. Yeah, slap it in there. Ah, oh, it blew up. Uh, that, yeah, that was kind of one of the things I wanted to mention was that this game does have all those options available to you. Um, whether there are unlockables or not, I don't know. I, I can't imagine there are in this on the Super Nintendo era for this game anyway. Oh no, get it out of there. Well, as you can see, the game is pretty wacky. Um, it's best played four players, two on two with a four player adapter. I'm sure that's where you're going to get the most value out of this game. As a single player game, uh, it's not all that great. But it does have some entertainment value, and I don't believe this game is overly priced. So you could probably... Oh, see, I'm right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, check it out. Get that air. It's not overly priced game. Some of those random sports games can get kind of pricey. Most of them are a dime a dozen, but some of the four-player... More entertaining ones can get up there in price. So for the for the five to ten dollars you could probably pick this game up for, I would say it's worth it if you're looking for a fun game to play with your buddies. Um, once you can figure out the controls, this might be a good one to get the book with if you can. Oh yeah, look at that! That was tight. Get in there! Oh, I passed it. So A is passed, not shoot. Dang it! I'll get it. No. <laughs> Ah, oh, there's a way you could um, you can like slap the puck with your hand. That chick's like skating backwards. So as you can see, there's some interesting, interesting dynamics to the game. I really like that you can ride up the the ramps on the side and back walls. All right, was hoping to get some cutscenes or any kind of advancements in the game. It looks like tournament is pretty much the only way to uh, get your to resume tournament there. I was thinking maybe there was a single player mode. It uh, doesn't really look like it. So this again, this is the best way to play this game would be with four people get together, have some head on head street hockey action. It's been Brothers Forge Gaming bringing it to ya. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.